Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And so after um, having my device turned off for a while, I decided to power on my Moto G Stylus 5G 2022 and just kind of see what's up with it. And there was a software update that was bringing it from Android 12 to Android 13. So this is just a quick look around of what's changed with Android 13. And I'm going to say off the bat that there's not a lot that's changed um, from Android 12. And that is, you know, specifically just um, some features and stuff that's added in, maybe a couple of tweaks and changes to the Moto UI, but uh, nothing uh, significantly different um, other than that. So uh, a couple things that I will tell you guys just offbeat that I've noticed is that it has cleared up a little bit of the jittery and jank uh, with the user interface. And that's why I was scrolling around just to kind of show you guys, but it's still there though. And so I was kind of hoping that it would eliminate it, but um, eh, I mean, it is what it is for a mid-range device. Um, again, I'll scroll through like an app feed so you guys can see just, you know, it, how the fluidity is, if it's, uh, super smooth or not. Um, you can turn on things like you can have it set to auto on the refresh where it'll switch between 60 Hertz and 120 Hertz refresh rate, or you could just lock it in at 120 Hertz refresh. But of course that's going to eat the battery more. And I like my devices on longevity at times. And this device, I definitely want it to be able to last me two days on a single charge. So I keep it at 60 hertz. But um, for the most part, it is a little bit more smoother than what it was on Android 12. Um, it just has its jitter and jank every now and then. But it could also be because uh, when I did power on the device, I did a full wipe and reset up my device back up again uh, without restoring from any backups. Just I do that just so it's a fresh install before I do an update. and. Um, yeah, so it could just still be kind of like figuring out my patterns and stuff like that, what I do. But um, this is how I have my home screen set up. Basically, I choose not to use an app drawer. So everything is pretty much on the home display itself. And I can swipe between displays to access, you know, what I need to access on, you know, any app or any widget that I put there. Um, so here is the drop down quick settings. Um, again, you know, pretty stock Android-ish. Not too much to it whatsoever. And I'll show you guys basically the customizations and how they look now. When you go into personalized, you're greeted with this personalized screen. And you can change your wallpaper, your colors, your themes, fonts, icon shapes. And then, you know, it just has certain things like the peak display. If you want to set that up, the display size and the text size, the sounds, dark mode, light mode, app layout, all is right here in personalized. Um, you can choose a specific color. Or you can create your own color as you see that. Um, basically sixth option at the bottom. You can choose the brightness of the color you want, how dark, how bright you want it. Um, you can, like I said, you can choose your app icons. It's got the, some of the basic ones, like the, you know, the little circle kind of like teardrop one. Um, you have your fonts too as well. Uh, there's four fonts you can choose from, but they all look pretty much the same to me. So it's nothing like extravagant. <laughs> and then you have um, actually preset themes um, from like Merlot, or Merlot to Honey to Seaway, Moto. It's just got, you know, different uh, preset themes if you want to use those. And again, like I said, I'll show you guys real quick. It is on Android 13 now. Um, if you're going to ask if it's going to go to Android 14, I'm going to tell you guys no. This will be the last major software update for the Moto G Stylus 2022. It'll just be on this. Um, I don't know if it's even going to get any more security patch updates or not. That's to be seen. But I'll keep everyone up to date on that um, in future videos. But yeah, it's on Android 13 now, and it took a long time. I mean, Android 14 has already out, been out already, and, you know, it just, this is one of my gripes with Motorola. They, they take too long to update their devices. So, um, yeah, that's probably one major caveat with going with the Moto device, is my opinion. So, uh, we'll run a quick speed test. Uh, I do have Boost Mobile AT&T side on here, and we'll do a quick uh, update while my dog's chewing on her bone. <laughs> And um, yeah, so just basically wanted to show you guys how the uh, antennas work and how the reception is to the network is. It's not the greatest. Um, I'll probably run one at my wife's job one of these days with this phone just to see you know, if it picked up as fast speeds as it did like on my Pixel. But yeah, the towers nearby me is, has not been upgraded yet. Um, but overall, um, in a few more days, I'll do an update for 2024 video for this device. And I'll give more insight as I just need a little bit more time to play around with it. But these are some of the things that I've noticed up front. 
some of the things that I've realized, um, you know, with the performance and everything like that, just really just caught, I don't know, just stuff that I'm just looking at right now as I'm messing around with the phone, but um, definitely need more time with that. Um, for those who want to know, um, these are the band supports. So I'll throw that up here too. So you guys can read for yourselves. But um, yeah, it shows all the different LTE bands, the standalone 5G bands and the non-standalone 5G bands. You can see what it supports. And the biggest one here is uh, you got N70, both standalone and non-standalone. And that is Dish's, um, you know, it's a 5G band for VONR or voice over NR. Um, so for those who just want to know. But other than that, I mean, the experience so far has been okay. It's been a little cleaned up from what I've noticed. Um, but only time will tell as I continue to use the device and I'll keep you guys updated with an updated video in the future.